Welcome back, folks. The great gentleman here, your Chief Investment Officer, Outsource Chief Investment Officer at your service. Um, we curate a, a ton of articles, not a ton, a, a, a fair amount of articles um, over our social networks on a weekly basis. And we take a look at what's shared and liked. And um, then we do a, a bit of a come learn with me session where we sit and we go through the article together and we learn together. So this is something that came up from um, last week, I think it was. And um, let's, let's have a read. Global energy crisis can't be resolved without nuclear, without uranium, Madison metals. So much volatility, stay on top of daily news. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Kitco News. Energy crisis continues to threaten the global economy. And according to one mining executive, any solution to the growing problem must include nuclear energy, which will continue to support uranium prices. In an interview with Kitco News, Dwayne Parnham, executive chair and CEO of Madison Metals, said that the world wouldn't be able to meet its future energy requirements without nuclear energy. A global push for green renewable energy has fragmented the market. Parnham said, despite growing solar technology, it won't be enough to fill the growing gaps in the electrical grid, adding to the growing demand. Parnham also noted that government policies in the US have made the domestic market disjointed, creating systemic, systemic supply issues. How is the world going to supply the power to meet the demand for all the electric vehicles being built? Parnham asked, you can't meet future electricity demand without uranium. The global fundamental outlook show, shows that there is no option to, but to use nuclear energy. And, um, you know, I've long been a proponent of nuclear energy and I've long uh, spoken about the coming bull market in nuclear energy or uranium at least. The comments on the global energy market come as the world faces rising energy prices. Although oil prices have fallen below $100 a barrel, they still remain extremely elevated. The oil and gas market continues to be dominated by Russian invasion of Ukraine. Europe, in particular, is feeling acute pressure from rising energy prices. The crisis has deepened even further as Russia, in retaliation to Western sanctions, have cut oil and gas supply to Europe. In this environment, the European Union has been looking for ways to reduce its dependence on Russia, oil and gas, and in part to turn to nuclear power. That's interesting. The EU is not a, a friend of nuclear. Earlier this month, the EU voted to include natural gas and nuclear in its list of green sustainable activities. Recently, Germany has announced that it would look into having its three nuclear plants operating through the end of the year because they were going to decommission. And the nation was planning to shut down the three plants by the end of the year. Parnham said that the shifting political winds should continue to support a long term uptrend in uranium. Adding to the growing demand outlook, Parnham said that the market also faces a massive supply deficit as a decade of low prices has decimated uranium production. The comments come as Madison Metals moves forward with two uranium projects in major mining jurisdictions. The Junior Explorer is developing Kenora U project near Kenora, Ontario. The project contains a past producing Richmond Lake uranium mine. At the same time, the company is developing its Rossing North project in Namibia, Southwest Africa. The African nation is one of the world's largest uranium producers. So the bottom second foray into the uranium market from 2006 to 2010 is then company Forces Metals developed its Valencia uranium project in Namibia. <coughs> Coincidentally, that was the last uranium bull market. Well, there you go. There you have it, folks. Um, you know, when all of this noise, I think, finally kind of settles down, when the market does find its, its bottom, wherever that may be, its, its bottom, and has a bounce and, and whatnot, to returns, I think we're still going to be left with this, um, well, let me put it another way. We're obviously going to be left with the cultural, the climate issues and the, you know, renewable energy supplies. I think that's certainly not going away. That's going to be, you know, more front and center as a result. And so, you know, if, if this is where the money is going to flow, uh, this could be an area of interest for uh, a long term elephant bull market, as I like to say. So check out gregsilman.com. Check out my blog and uh, you'll understand what I mean by an elephant bull market. All right, guys, subscribe and like. Thanks so much for joining. Greg Sullivan, out for now.